son of a bitch. <laughs> What's going on everybody? I'm back with another soul lane play-by-play. -play. Today we're gonna be playing Robin in the soul lane. I uh dude this coo this cuckoo skin is so loud. Colkin skin, whatever. Um what? But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Anyway, the reason I'm playing Robin is there's this idea for a build that I have. I might have seen somebody be like do it in ranked or um maybe get some inspiration from somewhere. Um but I will say that Attack speed Robin is basically what it is with animosity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start benevolence. I'm going to work into animosity once I can actually purchase it. Um, obviously go some some healing a little bit here. And, uh, you know, usually going an item like this in Selene isn't really that great because the idea is that you're, um, you know, going to get put behind a little bit when you have it. But I've been messing around with this item, just purchased it from the start of the game. And although maybe the first three minutes you lose a little bit of gold, compared to the enemy solo, a little bit of golden XP. It actually ramps up really fast, and by the 10 minute mark, if you guys are just farming the exact same, so you do everything the exact same on the map, you'll actually end up being a good bit ahead of them just from the passive golden XP gain that you get from uh, Benevolence. So, and the base stats aren't, like, the problem with like Sentinels or Watchers from last year is that it's reliant on you being near your teammates or for um, it's reliant on people last hitting for you to get the benefit. But Benevolence, you actually just straight up get um, the 10 MP5 and the 7 HP5 uh, regardless of who's near you. So you don't need your teammates to be there. Or you don't need your teammates to actually perform an action for you. So it's actually not too, not too bad as a start. Um, it doesn't really help pressure-wise, but if you're going to lose gold anyway... Um, you're like just gonna be like uh, out pressured or whatever, then it's honestly not too shabby. Um, by the way, I'm, I'm in a game with Weekend. We just randomly got into a game together. I wasn't even looking. I'm giving him extra gold. Our clear's a little bit shit because he's Arthur Jungle, but um, no big deal. I'll go ahead and pop a Chalice. Wukong and Thor are probably gonna hit two pretty soon. They are clear's much better. There it is. So yeah. So we'll be working into a ninja tab by. We're gonna go animosity later. We'll probably throw in a frostbound, maybe a toxic blade. Um, looks like we both only got two minions. This Wukong actually has a lot of pressure over me because he's bluestone Wukong, and bluestone Wukong's pretty sick, as you guys know. Does a ton of damage. So just recognizing that you just want to play back on this first uh, this first wave. You'll lose a little bit of gold, but that's no big deal. I'm losing gold. It's a ramp up process, like I said with the uh, my item. Um, so I don't hit three because I didn't get that third archer in that first wave, just because our clear was so low and so slow in the jungle with uh, Arthur, Robin. Got to be a little bit careful here. You can try and tiger me, and it'll get a lot of pressure off of it. But we will hit three here, so that's nice. I'll just try and two is one. Nice, we were able to do it. Oh, definitely wanted to try and hit that just from extra sustain. Um, whenever you have an item that gives you HP 5 and MP 5, Bluestone's kind of similar, where, like, if you kind of just chill and, uh, allow your HP 5 and MP 5 to, to get you back up, you know, you're in a pretty good spot, especially with, like, something like Bluestone. Honestly, if you use your blue buff, lose your blue buff with Bluestone, it's really not that big of a deal because it gives you so much HP 5 and MP 5. We were able to 2 the, uh, Tiger there, which is exactly what we want to do in this matchup in order to actually be able to contest him. Don't want to walk into the wave like I just did, though. That was bad. Kind of gave him a free uh, free one onto me and the wave. I'm going to wait to use my wand just in case he comes to this. Okay, he's not going to. So I'll just use it. And then go clear my wave after. If I can get the totem for my team. It's nice. Try and hit him plus the wave there. Hit him again. Hit him plus the wave again. Just to poke him a little bit. Just, just so if he wants to go for blue, he won't be able to. Or at least he'll feel a little bit worse about it. Try and clear us and go to our own blue. Want to use my three on this to heal a little bit. Actually does pretty good damage at level one as well, 100, so that's why it's full clear and the archers like that. I actually, I think I made a Robin gameplay not too long ago, so. Usually I only make one like once a month, or not once a month, once a year. It's very rare, but this, 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 this build idea and, and stuff, it just sounds fun, so. And you guys know, I, th I probably talked about it in the last Robin video, but this character used to be very viable in Solan. He used to be a warrior if you're new to the game. 
they actually made him an assassin because he just started being played in the jungle way too much. But go ahead and grab some wards. It's actually pretty hard for them to gank me. Robin's pretty hard to gank. He's got immunity on his two. Immunity is ill. CC immunity on both, right? So he, uh, I would say, is actually kind of safe. And if you go a different build, you're actually like a good laner with Robin. I'm going to go ahead and blink to this so I can try and catch this wave. Um, you're actually a pretty good laner, though, like I said. You can uh, you can actually bully some people, or at least keep up with them. This guy actually got this poked for me, so I can go ahead and finish this. One thing about this Scorpion, I don't really like this Scorpion too much. I don't think it's really like that great of addition. But one thing I will say is that if you're in behind in a lane, and you time it correctly, you can get the Scorpion when the enemy solo is in base, and get the Totem when they're in base, or like when they're trying to do like back camps or something. And it can kind of allow you to get back in the lane a little bit, just to catch up in XP, because, you know, obviously the more options you have for XP, the more ways you can get back into the lane, or the, maybe the more ways you can just push a lead. Kind of depends. We get some wards. Those are usually where you want to be warding right now if you're warding for a gank, at least early game. You know, we're pretty early right now, so just warding for a potential gank is good. Try and last hit all of those. It's pretty unlikely that we ever kill this guy. He also has a TP. Um, that actually makes it more likely that I could kill him. Uh, just because he doesn't have a defensive active, but it will allow him to maybe outfarm me a little bit. We actually poked him pretty hard there because he used his three on the minion instead of me. And then one cool thing about Robin is that you can kind of dive towers, pseudo dive towers, get some poke on them, and then use your two to get out of it so you don't take that extra damage from tower shots. Get that cleared. So the idea behind this build as well is that I want to be able to do a lot of damage, but still be pretty tanky. So I'm going to just have a lot of health, a decent amount of attack speed. I think I'm going to go with kin size as well. The one thing I will say about Inossi as well is that it's kind of sad that it does magical damage because you can't build pen for it as a physical. And like the, the idea behind the item doesn't really make sense if on warriors it, you can't even really like make it output as much damage as you want it to, you know? So that's a little bit sad. Say enemies in the left jungle. I have some pretty good wards though. I don't mind going to this totem. It is a Thor. Gotta be a little bit careful. I'm still full health. And one thing about Ninja Tab I on Robin is that you actually proc your passive, get your shield up pretty hard. His three is still down. There it is. That's his ult. I was about to say he's gonna have to ult here or he's dead. So nice. Horse is back. Not too bad for us. <clears throat> so I'm going to be working into Berserkers here. It's not necessary that I have to go Berserkers. I was thinking about going Void Shield, and I like Void Shield. Um, and Void Shield actually helps my kin size, so it's possible that Void Shield should just be the play. But so does Berserkers. You know, both give you pen. So either can work. Um, I just really, like I said before, I just really wish Void Shield would give you pen for your animosity. We don't want to let this guy do this. I just forced his ult. I can probably kill this guy. I don't even have to... I can just wait. I can blink on him. I don't even have to ult. It's definitely worth to, to give up a wave to do that. I did miss that entire wave, but I was going to miss basically half of it anyway. I don't know if you guys hear Odin barking in the background. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Bria, maybe. But, um... Um, what was I saying? Oh, but yeah, so I was basically going to miss half that wave anyway, so it's definitely worth to just go for that kill and punish him for using his ult in the laning phase. So now I have a kill on him. I'm up, up about 500 gold, partly because I got a kill. But honestly, that's also because of benevolence. Like, this guy has TP. He should be able to keep up and farm pretty well with me, so... Um, I'm going for jungle it kind of just shows you benevolence. It, okay. I mean, we're not at the point where it's, like, super strong and ramping up. We're, we're feeling pretty good about it right now. Berserkers is pretty expensive now. So I actually don't recommend it in too many solo builds, really. Um, but with the build that are going, that we're going, we just want to be really aggressive and really uh, just output a lot of damage, be really threatening with all of our damage. Um, and Robin already has some built-in tankiness with his immunities, with his damage mitigation on his ult, so we're not feeling too bad about it. Thought he might try and three me there. We're just gonna go ahead and clear that as fast as possible. Back up. We want to put points on our ult. Goes down in cooldown, and there's a lot of different things that increases in. So. Grab our Berserker. So like I said, yeah, you have some built-in tankiness, so you can actually get away with more of a, a greedy build like this where you're, you're a lot more damage. 
Um, to be frank, I don't I don't know how viable Robin Solo is in general, but uh, maybe a build like this could make him more more viable. You know, I think he might be slightly underrated in the solo lane. Um, I say slightly just because you know he does have some some downsides, and the fact that you kind of want to build damage in order to be useful on him isn't good for a frontliner. Looks like Wukong is there. That's just a product of me having to back and then playing very, very, uh, very far up. I have a word right here. So Robin's here, or Thor's here. I do a lot of damage now because of Berserkers. That's his ult. Ward right here to see if they actually do come over. I do want to try and go for this blue, so go ahead and pull it. Oh, wait a second. We don't want to take too much damage from it unless their whole team's here or something. Oh, their team is here. Oh, that's too bad. Barely lived. Lived one HP. I know that he said the the people were coming, but I thought I might be able to at least one B one B two one B three. Oh, curses. Not too good for us. Um. Went from poking out Thor, or maybe getting uh, a kill on Thor and poking out Wukong really hard for a single ult to dying and not really getting anything from it, so. They just played way too far up in mid. I don't even think, I don't even know if Wukong really did anything. He kind of just walked up and I think maybe was uh, part of a kill, part of two kills. One of them was on me, I guess. So now we'll be a little bit behind, but we're actually still ahead in gold by a good amount. Like 300 gold, even considering the death, so. Missed the entire wave, which definitely is sad. Wukong's ult will still be down for a good bit, so we can try and punish him during that. Definitely just want to try and play for this late game. My team's already falling apart, though, so that's unfortunate. Down 2k as a team. Got him to half health. Oh, there's a Thor in the air. I kind of thought he would be, but I should be good. Oh, unless they hit that. Oh, this is a kill. Nice. His three was still down, so I might be able to outplay this guy if he tries to go for me. I'm just going to heal up with my HP 5 and my Chalice for now. I can wait for the wave. Once the wave gets to me, I can maybe three it. I want to try and bait this guy, though. Let's see. And go for it. We can actually just straight up kill this guy. Nice. I thought he was actually going to TP in. It was kind of weird that he didn't. Um, so I ulted in place. Either way, I want to make sure I ult over and uh, maybe hit him with my three. Get the damage mitigation so his three doesn't kill me. Or just make sure he doesn't even hit me with it, you know? Oh. Go ahead and back up here. That's Wukong's TP. Won't quite be able to get our item, but that's fine. We can get our beads here. We definitely want to go beads. Just because we're going for more damage. And they have like they have like non-DR CC like Kepri pull that we're gonna have to worry about and like knockups like Jingwei. So they can peel really hard. And obviously Thor with his stuns. That's actually really good for us. We're able to get a kill on the Wukong, turn a gink around. And we kind of just kept track of the Wukong three there. It was since he had used it before at the tower line, it was still gonna be down. So he just kept running. Didn't panic. And obviously the Wukong ult was still down. It's definitely back up now though, so. See if we can do this. We have a lot more attack speed, so we should be able to out secure him on it if he walks up for it. Nice, we get that for free. Go ahead and back for our frostbound here. Wukong's actually very easy to bully when he once you get frostbound. He was trying to stop my back, but it's not happening, buddy. Especially with the amount of attack speed I have right now, if I ever catch him with his three down, it, he's just an instant ult force because I can just keep stalling him. And it's pretty easy for me to chase him. I can immune his knockups. I can jump out after him, blink after him, and he still hasn't uh, gotten his second active yet. So our tower is a little bit low from that that one death, and the fact that he has TP and I don't, so he can kind of push waves while I'm in base. Got a call missing here. Looks like he's on totem actually. So this is the scenario where we wanna. Try and bully him. Just want to stick to him a little bit. That's his three down. 
Oh, hello. That's his ult. He turned back around and missed his one on me, so I just decided to blink on him. Blink for his ult, I would say he's a worth trade. Because now we can maybe get pressure and rotate to mid here, especially because our team's fighting pretty hard. I'm on my way. I want to blink for this, but I, I mean, I obviously have my ult. Morgan's coming in. Follow me. Follow me, follow me. Looks like she's not going to go in here. I just want to frostbound this guy down. Get the kill for my team. Nice. Good stuff. Wukong could push the wave into my tower and left, and that would be bad for me, but helping my team out more is good. So there's a Morgan around. I'll just go do these backs. The blue is up. Thor might be coming from base. I'm not really sure if he has his ult. Hopefully we can just try and burn this and get out. Looks like my team's finding again in mid, so it's definitely a reason for the Thor to be there. Nice, we were able to get it. My one just casts a lot faster than his uh, one. That's okay. Let's see if he walks back up to the wave here, like over here. Yeah, he's going to. I might be able to kill him here. That should just be a kill. Nice. I saw the Thor coming over. I just thought I might be able to out-trade him here. That's his hammer. He actually probably out-trades me there if he just sits there and autos me. But, um, I guess I do have Frostbound. His hammer's down for now. It's a big wave to grab. Nice. Just keep bullying him out. It's good. Go grab this wave now. Alright. We're feeling pretty good. Got the kill on Wukong. Get a lot of uh, pressure in farm now. Looks like Morgan died across the map as well, so that's good. Just gonna do these backs real quick. Wukong TP was still down. I might have actually needed a back there just so I can spend this gold. Um, maybe I can greet it though and get my item here. Be right back. Be careful left. Maybe I just straight up get kin size right now. Sounds crazy, but I think on a character like Robin, I could get away with it. Or maybe prefer it for my build. I think I'm going to go for that. I'm just going to try and keep hyper farming. Basically need two more waves. No eyes, Wukong. Looks like he's still here. We need to see where Thor is on the map. We might be able to go for this blue and then get that and back. Okay. What happens with my nose, guys? My nose is itchy. We can gank. Just go ahead and rotate here. Ke I mean, Kepri's probably just going to ult. We'll just go on this Kepri. If he did just use his pole, that's his ult. Go ahead and use that. This should just be a free kill. That's his pole. Nice job. Their blue is still up as well, and we also forced Thor ult there, so we can probably just walk over to this. Give me both those. That's his three down. If he comes back up, we can definitely force his ult with my team being here. Mm. Well, we got the blue. Force his ult. I didn't really want the gebbed ult there. To be fair, he's just going for the play like I was. Oh, I'm away. This should be a kill. I thought my team might kill for some reason. I do not do that much damage yet, especially since he already has void shield. Looks like across the map that wasn't the best thing ever for us. Looks like I'll just grab this wave. It's going to stop my back anyway. All right. That is a very, very greedy back. Three and a half K. They're going to be at gold. I can maybe make my way there. My team is, they're going to have to stall somehow. Um, I don't think, I don't know if they'll be able to, but. So I'm going to go mantle animosity. And I just will be a pretty tanky boy while also doing a shit ton of damage. I can sell my boots for whatever I want. I could go Pridwin to give me a little bit more tankiness. I could go maybe something to help me with my, my animosity damage, my kin size damage, like a toxic blade. To be fair, I probably could have gotten, uh, instead of buying the tier one of this this mantle, I could have saved that gold and had it for my, be uh, my benevolence upgrade and the animosity very soon. All I need is f I need fifteen hundred gold, and I'm already level seventeen, which is exactly where you want to be for it. So that might have been a better play for me.
See the gold lead. I'm actually up almost 3k on this Wukong. That's what I'm talking about, guys. I mean, a lot of that is from killing him and, like, out-pressuring them and getting their backs and stuff. But I think maybe, probably about, like, 400, 500 of that is from Benevolence. Because it works off of your level, too. So the higher level you are, the more gold per five and stuff you get. So I am very threatening with my damage now with, with kin size. It's only going to go up when I get animosity. Looks like Kepri's around here. We'll just go back left, maybe look for this blue. I can bait these guys and then... Yeah, I'm gonna bait really hard in this blue because my team's coming. Get the blue. I have kin size, so I'm just kin signing these guys down with frostbound. We'll just go ahead and reset that. Nice. Oh, that's too bad. Gotta be a little bit careful. Mm, I wonder why that went so bad. Fire's not up, so we can just retreat. There's no big deal. They can't get fire or anything off of it. They're just gonna do the scorpion, which is fine with us. We'll just have to try and defend it when we come back. I have my animosity, though. We'll grab a one little normal ward to get, maybe get a cheeky ward around fire to see if they try and pull it. That was Jingwei. Did she beads? I'm pretty sure she beads there. Nothing is really up. They could go for red or something. I'm just going to go hit level 20 real quick on left and blue buff. Because this is also a big wave that I wanted to defend. It was a pretty good bait by us because we got the Kepri. But it just looks like they uh, got a flank on somebody or something. and Kind of one shot him. Go ahead and 3-2 that from range so I can walk over to blue. It'll fade away. Yeah, I do some good damage now. The only problem is that Robin's actually a really good transformation for Morgan. So she kind of just randomly got a pretty sick transform. I also do so much damage to their tanks. So much. I get the pen from Berserkers. I can keep them there with Frostbound. Animosity, Kinsai is doing health damage. Like, I don't have the most amount of health in this build, but keep in mind that Animosity is also really good with attack speed. The more, the more times you're autoing, the more times you're going to proc it. So you don't necessarily need a ton of health. And plus it, you know, I'm playing like a, kind of like a tank character. Getting 400 from this, 300 from this. Maybe you could argue that my last item should have health in it. Just to really combo with the build, but... At least we get Pyro. Another good transformation for Morgan is Wukong, so... This guy is the a Morgan man and all he plays is Morgan. He has like a million stars on it. Enemy ultimate incoming. Your right tower has been destroyed. One way to defeat them. Gep should probably be helping our ADC more. I don't really need him. Oh, that's too bad. We hit our three, we don't kill him, but. I like what the guy was trying to go for there. This Wukong doesn't have beads, so he has to either reactively Wukong ult it, which is pretty sketchy for him, or he has to uh, just not be in range. I did a ton of damage to that Kepri, but I didn't realize Morgan was invis the entire time. That was the problem. That would have been fine if it was just Xingwei. But apparently Morgan was invis looking for us the whole time. I'm going to try and heal off this blue a little bit. I don't have my ult for 60. I kind of want that. In order to be safe in this next fight. Mm, unfortunate. Maybe I just go Magi's. Let's just go Magi. It gives me more health. It's going to make me pretty hard to kill. I'm not very tanky with this build. But again, like I said, even even for Robin to be viable, it kind of need to be, be damaged. So. Hold down for 30. Don't have CDR in this build. Morgan's in biz somewhere. Oh, Morgan's actually pretty low. Just 
trying to do damage where I can. They're kind of in a... I mean, they're not in a great spot. Mm, that's too bad. Yeah. I'm not really too sure. I don't know if... Uh, what exactly went wrong in that fight? I got a lot of damage off. I was, uh, got Morgan to transform and got her pretty low. I guess Jing Wei was kind of free casting the whole time, but. It's possible that I could sell my, my boots for a ninja tabai once I can. I don't know if they're on this. They could also be on gold because that's up. Oh, they're on the. Enemies at the fire giant. Just gonna wall me. No way, I rooted that. Gotta be a little bit careful of Capri Pole here. We did get him to reset it, which is nice. Just gonna keep trying to do that, stalling. So our team is back up. It's possible that I'm backing on a ward right now, so we gotta be a little bit careful. They're probably gonna be at, at the, gold the old Gold Fury here. Okay. Grabbing upgraded beads. They have a lot of CC. So having that up more often is definitely is worth it. <clears throat> it's really good to get on Morgan uh, before she transforms in a fight and just make it really hard for her to like flank your backline with her invis and stuff. Um, so it's kind of what I did the last fight. The only problem is that this Jingwei is also going to be free casting, and that's sad. I don't know how well we're going to dive into him. Oh, they kept real too. That's unfortunate. I can just frostbound this guy down for a bit though. Okay. What is this guy? Wait, what? Why was it clapping? You can make the Wukong clap when you're in his ult? Attack the gold fury. Let me just do gold real quick. It'd be really good if we can get this Oni Fury off the map. They might go to fire, but they were pretty low and Morgan had to ult, so. Oh, that's unfortunate. They have no Capriol. Got them pretty low. Gotta be a little bit careful now. Doing a lot of good damage, but I am very low. I don't have anything to like bridge the gap right now with this health. Be careful. Enemies incoming. Enemies incoming. Morgan just got a huge stun off. Yeah, we should probably have backed out there. Oh, my Magi's just popped up. That's pretty funny. I'm probably just gonna die here too. And Wukong ult on top of me, and I'm dead. Yeah, it's unfortunate. My team's just keep getting super hard owned by these Morgan, uh, Morgan plays. The Cuckoo died in mid, then we're fighting at 45. Then we get gold and kind of fight after. And the fight was going pretty well, and then my team gets flanked by the Morgan decoy again. Or Morgan invis, rather. And that's just game. He's got a quadra kill. Morgan's, uh, obviously a pretty good character, but she's especially hard in, like, I don't know, this is just like a, this is just like a casual, and, um, this guy's got, like, a million stars on Morgan, so he's kind of just stomping some noobs, so, it's whatever. But, I mean, that was pretty good. I did actually a ton of damage in that last fight, and I almost one-shot the Jingwei. And I was still pretty healthy, but the problem is the fight just kind of got, like, extended. It got to a point where I couldn't even, like, I couldn't even re-enter the fight, so. But, to be honest, I definitely completely did my job that game. We got really far ahead, even with the Benevolent start. And got us got to a point where we probably could win the game. We even did Oni Fury from behind. Um... But solo, solo is just not the role that it used to be. You don't you, you don't just hard carry the games these days. I think. Um, but yeah, that is the Robin auto attack kind of build with animosity. Yo, this freaking wins or defeat screen is so annoying. I feel like they should. I feel like it happens all the time. That some of the wind screens and defeat screens are just like. Just shut up, you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the Attack Speed Robin gameplay. Let me know if that's how you think he should be played, if he's going to be played in solo, or what you think of him. Do you think he's good as a full tank? 
And, uh, you know, as always, if you learned something in your video or enjoy my videos, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. You know, I love you guys. So stay safe and healthy. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.